what is up everybody it's gorilla man here back with another farming simulator 2017 single player game and um this one we are on the was it oh what was it? it's it's Espacia La Pacha or something like that. That's what the uh, South America map is for the Platinum Edition. We are back on that map. Why can I? I can't remember what exactly what it is. I think I was pretty close. But guys, we're back on this map here. Um, we are going to continue where we left off. Uh, I finished that field being uh, fully harvested. And this guy is planting the rest of our sugar cane is what... No, no, it's canola. Uh, we got our sugar cane being planted over there. So it's going to be pretty fantastic. Um, but... What we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna pick this up. Hopefully, I think I think if we have enough money, we might pick it up. We might have to take out a bank loan if we can take out a bank loan here. I have no idea. And guys, the winner of the John Deere of the not the John Deere, the winner of the new uh, like manufacturer we're gonna use for this uh, single player map is in fact going to be case ih all right so everybody was saying john deere john deere john deere so i was go going through these comments i saw probably about 15 john deeres in a row and then i was scrolling down and i was like okay wait a second here a bunch of people are saying you do uh, you do too much john deere or squad does john deere uh switch it up switch it up so i was thinking i was like yeah you guys are right um and then i saw you guys commented i'm gonna hop back in here really quick and get this thing moving uh i saw you guys comment everybody's like do case ih uh, nobody ever does Case IH, and Case IH is pretty popular too, don't get me wrong. Like I see people driving around all the time uh, where I live with Case IH stickers on the back of their cars. So I'm thinking, hey, why not do Case IH? Also, I, th I think we're going to do Case IH. Um, hopefully, I think I can get every single thing that Case uh, that John Deere has in Case. Um, I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure. I have the quad track, so that's going to take so I, a little bit ago. I asked you guys, you guys wanted the 9R. Um, or which big track do you want it from John Deere? And everybody said they wanted the 9R. So I was like, okay, 9R. And everybody's like, oh, well, we want it uh, wheel version and tractor version. So it was a split between those two. Um, oh, a little laggy there. Oh, weird. So since we have the tracked version of the quad track. Oh, we got to shut this guy off. Come on. There you go. Sorry about that. Oh, crap. Uh, since we have the tracked version, I will be using that. I got to go get a bunch more Case IH mods, though. Uh, so you guys just got to hold off for that. Got to get a bunch of Case stuff. Um, and let me know, guys. You guys want me to use International, too? Uh, I have a little international old tractor I can use to putt around and uh, go around and do whatever I want in. So, guys, comment down below. Do you guys want me to use the international? I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about real quick here. Uh, to this guy right here. That would load up. International's old case. Yeah, so see all these right here? I have all these super old international. It used to be, there was international. I don't know if they changed the name to case uh, or what it was. Oops, that was weird. But yeah, that's what these all are. I think I was using, in one of the squads videos, I was using, I think it was a 1086. Um, but I got all these guys, let me know. Uh, we got the case right here, we got the big Steger. Uh, so I might be using that one, or I can use the quad track. Uh, just comment down below, let me know, this quad track right there. Comment down below, let me guys, let me know what you want me to use. But, uh, we're gonna get going. Uh, let me get this guy out of here. We're gonna go drop this off, and so we're gonna be taking out a bank loan, and I think we're gonna go deposit some stuff first. Uh, before we go, let me do first person on this. Um, but I am still gonna be using some of the South America uh, equipment too. So it'll be a mix of case, case IH, and the South America equipment, which is gonna be real good. It's gonna look really good. Get some red and then some green and orange. Yep, yep. That's what we'll be doing. This red does really match that red, uh, but it's fine. All right, so we'll go over here. We'll drop this guy off. Uh, we'll get rid of this wheat we have on us. Uh, but yeah, we're going to want to start bailing and picking up all that wheat here in a minute so we can get going with a fresh uh, plant and plow for us. Which way is this tipping? Is it tip back? Yeah, it's going to tip back. All right, so while that's tipping, let's see what we want to get for our uh, forger. I don't know if we have a forge wagon. Let's check our garage really quick because um, I've been through this, but I don't remember. Platinum expansion. Those are this is the planter, this is the harvester, and that's the wagon behind it. Uh, sub subsoil that prepares fields for next sowing can be used instead of a plow. Additionally, this machine offers the possibility to see directly. Previous oh, that's pretty sick, actually. Oh my gosh. Actually, this machine offers the possibility to see directly from previous cultivation. Holy crap! So these two machines here completely eliminate sewing wow all right that's pretty good actually guys that is pretty revolutionary if you ask me it's pretty, pretty good uh but let's see we need to find a forge loading wagon uh right there all right so oh geez oh my gosh these are so expensive i think we got to go with the bergman first 
pretty cheap. Holds a bit more than this. Oh, this one's good. Then This is good old uh the Pont oh, is it the Euroboss 330T, the Pontinger. I can't remember. I think it's like something else. You better have to see something else. But we'll go with that one. Uh yeah, let's just go down. That's fine. We'll have to go pick up a bank loan for it in a minute here. So let me just curve back around here. And guys, uh, I saw a bunch of people commented. They're asking me, oh, is this going to be a realistic series? I am going to try and make this series that we are doing as realistic as possible for me. Um, if I do something wrong, comment, let me know. Let me know. That'd be nice. Uh, because if I keep doing something wrong and nobody ever says anything about it, I will never, ever fix it. Because I am not the smartest sometimes when it comes to realistic stuff like i won't be cutting through fields or anything like that but all right so that guy's detached oh and also shut that guy off uh also we're gonna be going into cars and i found the convertible guys oh my gosh it took me forever i was looking through comments sorry about that i was looking through comments and i was like what the heck and i found this and a lizard convertible uh main color engine setup convertible 220 Ooh, does that boost the engine horsepower that what the heck that adds like 180 80 horsepower or something like that oh these have got some funky colors i like oh crap oh we got we'll have to decide a color later we'll probably cast the poll for that and see what you guys want me to do for the color design you can use designs on it i wish they, I wish they would show the designs when you move this around we got the rim we got the design color all right that's pretty cool that is pretty cool but we're gonna go we're gonna take a bank loan out let's go get a bank loan all right that's uh we already have a fifty thousand dollar loan. What the heck? All right, let's go in more debt. Screw it. Let's just do it. Let's get ourselves a loading wagon. We've got eighty four thousand. That should be enough to get us by. Where the heck did that loading wagon go? Am I really missing this thing again? Ah, there we go. Sixty eight thousand. Sounds good. Uh, sixty eight thousand bucks. Screw it. We got it. All right. Oh, oh. That was like the command thing. So those two are running. Oh, come on, there we go. All right, we'll go pick that up. Let's double check. Can I hook that? Yeah, that's a that's a hitch. All right, we'll go pick that up. I've never been over to where we pick things up before. Let's see. It appears to spawn over there. See that over there? Yeah, okay, yeah. Point at the screen. You guys can't see. You point at the screen. All right, so you need to go out here to our left. Um. Definitely didn't just run into a pole. All right, out here to the left. All right, so you just gotta, I just got to hop on this. Right, I've actually never been inside this car before. I've never checked the inside before. Well, now I am. All right, so we go over here. Um, we need to cut through those weeds somehow. All right, let's just cut through here. We can cut through here. This is pretty. This is just grass. We're good right here. We just need to hop on the highway. Ooh, this is probably not getting a good start. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was a door opening. That was weird. All right, so let's just get going. Uh, we're going to go over here to our shop. And oh, I think the convertible's out here, too. And we can check the convertible out in the front. See if we're going to like what she looks like. Oh, there it was. Yeah, let's check the convertible out first. Can we drive it? Nope, we can't. All right, this is what the convertible looks like, guys, if you didn't, didn't know. Uh, so we'll pick this guy up later on. we, we got to be cruising around in style, I mean. I mean, we get a we get a Ferrari or whatever we want, but there's nothing better than a go classic that we'd get down here. Uh, so we get in one of these later. Maybe one of those uh, like VW buses too. That'd be sick if I could find one of those. All right, let's go pick this uh, loading wagon up. Uh, let's straighten her out. All right, we're gonna use this. There we go. Oh, that uh, this is this truck's not designed to haul this. All right, so this is gonna be a slow one for us. Oh, look at it. Look at the bed. The bed is just shaking right now. Oh, boy. That is not a good. Not a good at all. I should have brought on the track. I should have taken the star track. Dang it. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I think next time we'll definitely take one of those. We're picking up speed, though. We're, we're going faster. So we're going to use this, and we're just going to start picking up everything on the field. I wonder if we can have somebody pick it up for us or hire a worker. Uh-oh. 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 There we go. Oh, that was going to crash there. All right, so we'll get that going. Hopefully that planter will be done, or one of the planters will be done. The one that has our uh, uh, sugar cane going. I hope that guy's done. Did I get stuck on the fence? Oh, we rubbed that fence a little bit. 
So yeah, hopefully that guy is done planting our sugarcane. And I figured out, guys, or I, I knew this kind of, and everybody told me, uh, that sugarcane for this is you plant it once and you're good. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it dies or withers after a little bit, but I haven't didn't see that. So I'm just going to assume if I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, but I'm going to assume you just plant sugarcane one time. Oh, there we go. Drop that off. Oh, oh, suspension on our truck is ruined after that. But yeah, plant sugarcane one time and we got the Coca-Cola. Oh, let me get over that bump. We got the Coca-Cola plant that we can drop off all of our sugarcane. It is a mod. Um, if you guys didn't know. There you go. Shut the truck off. Ooh, she got muddy from that trip. That is okay. All right, so we're going to grab that. We're going to see if we can move this with it. I don't know if we can, though, guys. I do not know. It might be a little too much for him. Oh, that is a steep incline over there, buddy. Uh, but hopefully this is enough for this Massey right here. Let's go, Massey. Let's back up into it. Chugga, 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 chugga. Oh, it looks like it can do it. All right, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Uh, so we're just gonna get this guy going. We'll see if we can hire him out. I don't know if we can or not. Probably not. Uh, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I've been, ever been able to actually. If I think about it, I've I've done this so many times now. Um, so let's line ourselves up here. That's a little cockeyed. All right, so let's turn off Forge Wagon. Let's lower our pickup. Oh, she's a little slow. So I can just center it here. We'll be good. All right, so we're just gonna go along here and just make a few passes on our, on our own then uh which is fine uh we shouldn't need to bail this this isn't season so we don't have to worry about protecting this too much um but we will be saving this and i'm going to be doing i think let's check let's check the prices really quick let's check prices we're gonna be starting out with oh wool is like hitting the all-time low right now that sucks what about milk where's milk at milk 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 that's not milk, that's biogas. Oh yeah, we don't sell milk on this, that's why. Yeah, okay, so we'll probably be starting out with cows, uh, which is okay for me. Uh, I am I know cows, cows are pretty easy. Uh, cows, you just got, they just take a little bit longer. I wonder if we could use, um, uh, what was it, sugar cane, and turn it, or use the uh, bunkers and turn it into the uh, uh, TMR, total mix rations. I wonder, maybe you can. Okay, we're gonna swing this one a little wide. We're just gonna be skipping. We're gonna go in between every other one then. That's fine. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna take too long to do a one row. But yeah, I think we might do that. Uh, because we can do total mix rations. We'll see if we can use sugarcane for total mix rations. If not, um, we might just do corn. One, maybe two harvests of corn just to get a ton of uh, of chaff. Cause I haven't done chaff in a while, and we just toss that all in the bunker and call it good and let it go. Oh, look at that heads-up display down here. Oh, I didn't look down here. This one looks so good. Oh, crap. We need, to, we need to whip around. Can I make it on that one? Dude, this thing has like zero turning radius. What? That's not a zero turn. My bad. This thing has an awful turning radius. Oh, that's fine. It'll probably take us about half the field. We'll fill up this one loading wagon, uh, which is okay with me. I, should, I wish I would have had a helping hand here. Yeah, I I can't even hire anybody out on this. It's fine. I wish I would have gotten a helping hand, get like the squadron TV in here with me. They can help me, uh, help me tend to my fields a little bit. It's fine. I'll get them in the next one. I'll get, I'll get both of them in on the next one. At least I'll try to see if they want to. Uh, but let's just keep going with this. I think we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna get it on the last one right here. Then I'll, I'll just go and do it later because it's just taking forever. I just don't want to spend the entire video just sitting here collecting straw for you guys. Nobody wants to see that. Uh, we'll just finish this guy out. We'll finish this line out, and then we will go deposit it um, at the cows, I think. Crap. Let me double check. Um, this doesn't show us where our animals are at, which sucks. Um, but let's just... H. Oh, those are our workers. I was like, what the heck? Um, I think these are just going to be fields, too. In the regular Goldcrest map and the stuff like that, Sasa Novica and all those, they actually show the uh, pig or uh, uh, the cow icon. But it's fine. We'll I'll just go search it up really quick. Uh, I'll pause it really quick and go search it and find out where it is exactly. Because I don't want to spend the entire video driving around trying to find that. I think the pig one is on our property right now. The cor I mean, 
The cow one might be two, or it might be the cow one. I don't know. Because uh, the pig one's pretty sloppy, and you can notice that. All right, we'll shut that off, and we'll go over here. We'll go check out where I know it is, and I'll see if I can determine what it is. It should be pretty easy. Like, it should not be too hard to figure out what it is. So this one right here, if you guys can see it. Um, that looks like pigs. Um, yeah, because cows would have milking and... Oh, sorry, I just dropped that. That's so loud. Um, yeah, this is... This is this is pigs. I'm pretty sure this is probably pigs. Yeah. Okay. So then, where else is our other one? What's this guy? This guy's still planting the sugar cane. Go, boy, go! All right. Well, yeah, it's fine. All right. Well, give me a second, guys. I'm gonna go search up and find out where the cows are. So, snap right back. All right, everybody. So it looks like I was incorrect. This is actually cows. Uh, for some reason, I thought it wasn't. I just was like, eh, I don't know about this. Um, but it is cows, so let's find out where we're going to be depositing all this straw. It looks like it's probably going to be going over here. Oh, wait, that had us—that gave us an unload sign. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Straw's not accepted here. Oh, well, what the heck? Why would you say it is then? All right, let's, let's try and back it in right here then. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Straw's not accepted here. All right, let's try right here where the cow drop-off is. I think this is a cow drop-off. Oh, maybe straw's right here. Straw's probably right here, actually. Let's, let's be real here. All right, let's see what it looks like. Hey, there we go, boy. Oh, wow, that fills the entire area. All right. Max capacity enough to feed the animals for six days. All right, sick. Well, that's good for us. Six days will do. Six days will do. All right, let's take this back over. How back in first person? Let's take this back over. Uh, we'll clean up everything else. Uh, we'll just pick it all up. Uh, I'll go do that in a minute. But let's just keep chugging along here. Uh huh. I'm going to drop this off and I'm going to go hop in. Uh, probably the truck. Probably the truck. All right. There we go. So those guys are still finishing. We're going to hop in the truck. Oh, what the heck? All right. There we go. We've got to hop that open. All right. So we're going to hop in the truck and we're going to go grab the trailer. Which is still chilling over here, I believe. We're going to hop in the truck, go over to the trailer, and we're going to unload some stuff. We're going to take it with us. Is it here? Is it not? Oh, I parked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I parked it. I parked it. My bad. So we're going to go over, and we're going to grab it, and we're going to go sell some stuff. We need some money now. I was waiting. I was holding on to everything, but you know what? It's okay. We can sell some of our stuff now. Maybe we're going to sell wheat. Uh, probably whatever's in abundance right now there we go oh dang that thing jammed right down all right hopefully it's not too bad once you get it loaded up it looks like it's tipping pretty bad but it's it'll be fine uh and we fill up right here i'm gonna go into third person so i can see where i'm gonna fill up at and then oh boy look at the bed it is just all right uh we got twenty eight thousand wheat let's check prices too while we're here uh wheat not that good. We have a lot of everything, but we have well, we have all wheat right now because that's obviously what we've been making. Um, let's do wheat and we'll take it to the harbor. It'll be good. It's gonna be a really oh crap. Um. Oh, I regret to inform you guys. We can't take the truck. We gotta go grab one of our tractors. All right, let's go grab a tractor. Uh, we'll decide on which one. Which one's not doing the heaviest lifting? We'll hop out. Shut that guy off. Um. Well, this guy. We probably shouldn't use this one because it's not fast. You know what? We'll use this one. It's fine. I just got rid of it and I put it back. But you know what? It's okay. We'll just use it anyways. Um. Yeah. It'll be good. It'll be good. We got this. We got this. So we're gonna go deliver that wheat over to the harbor using this tractor here. Um, I know if I was driving down the road and I saw somebody just putting along this itty bitty tractor. Oh crap, and it's still attached. Oh no. First person mistakes. Just not not remembering, not checking behind you, just towing random stuff along with you. That's fine, we'll take it back. It's fine, I'm fine, we're fine. 
Can we throw a tarp on this? I really want to throw a tarp on this guy. Crap. There we go. Um, looks like there is no tarp on this one. Oh, that's fine. Throw on our beacon light. Huh, singular beacon light. Only one. All right, looks like we're cutting through here because, you know, horrible turning radius. All right, so harbor. Where's the harbor at? Directly below us. All right. Cut left and then just head straight. Um, obviously not head straight. We just be driving through like everything. I don't think I've ever drove through here with you guys. Um, so I'll show you this. This is like our entrance. We car they carved this out obviously out of the out of the earth. Obviously, oh yeah, out of the earth. It's let me see if that I was right. Estancia Lapacho. Make sure you don't hit anybody. Estancia Lapacho. Yeah, boys. All right, so. Uh, we're gonna cut right, then cut left, then cut left. All right. So you take a right at the fork, take another. No, take a. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. This guy is almost done here. He's got probably seven, seven or eight more rows. Never mind. He's not quite done yet. All right. So wait for that guy to finish. I'm just gonna fast forward along this guy. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, and we are here at the harbor, guys. So let's, I think this is the drop, maybe this is the drop off. Let's check really quick. Oh uh, yeah, this is the drop off. All right, how are we looking back there? All right, looks pretty good. Let's unload. Oh, our money's going up already. Uh, so we'll make, what was that? Seven, 8,000 bucks off of this. So it'll take quite a few trips. Um, oh wow, almost 10,000 actually. Uh, it'll take quite a tri few trips. I probably am gonna invest in a bigger truck. Let me make sure I'm not gonna get hit by anybody. I'm probably gonna invest in a bigger truck, obviously. Uh, shut our beacon light off now. Uh, we're probably gonna invest in a bigger truck because it's probably a Freightliner, not not a Mac, uh, probably, or a Kenworth, probably something native to the area, or I'll try and find something native to the area. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, comment them down below and let me know what I should do. If you're on a turn signal. Uh, comment them down below. Let me know what I should do. Uh, if you guys know any South American trucks for like uh, hauling freight liners, that kind of thing, uh, comment down below. Let me know what they are so I can go search them up. And if you guys know they are a mod or if you know they're a brand, I'll try and look. I'll try and find them. I'll have it by next video because next video we're gonna be doing a ton of hauling and I need to get all that stuff out of our silos and sold um, because we just need money right now. It's pretty simple as that. We need money. We need uh, equipment. We need machinery. We need to buy some new Case IH stuff. Which uh, will be really cool once we get all those. Is it left here? No. Oh, well. Uh, was it left there? Uh, no, 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 no. All right, good thing I didn't turn there because we still got a little bit. I'll just keep our map open. Oh, driving in the middle of the road. All right, so we're just going to keep going. I'm just going to go back and I'll just finish everything else up, guys. But we're going to end the video here. If you guys like the video, if you're loving this map, if you're loving Estancia, Estancio, uh, Estancia Lapacho, comment it down below. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you guys are loving it because I am loving it. I love the map. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's just a ton of fun to play on because the colors are bright. It looks it looks great. I love the Platinum expansion, all the new stuff they added. I hope everybody else loves it. I, I would love it if everybody else got it too. That would be so fun. I'm thinking about doing a multiplayer, uh, maybe just a little midday stream here coming up here. Uh, probably before the winter break ends. So sometime later this week. I'm thinking about it. If you guys want me to, comment down below. Uh, especially you guys that are watching. And I'll try to put together a mods list so everybody can hop in here and play it with me. Because that would be nice. But everybody, I'll see everybody in the next video.